All right, thank you so much, John. It's time to check in with our interactive managing editor, Elizabeth Reed, to see what is trending. Good morning, the one and only, as Michael says it so well, there, Elizabeth Reed. There is only one. Well, yes. there's only one China in Toledo. So. And Michael well, Herrick as well. That's true. So we're all we're, unique. Okay, we're, we're very Stop modest it, people, by the way. Yeah, these are, we, we are off air. <laughs> well, anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Hey, what's yeah. trending? Okay, so nationally, you know, 2008, everyone says Obama did a great job of using Facebook and Twitter and social media in general to get his campaign, you know, give it the edge that it needed to get him elected. But 2012 is the year of social media campaigns. And it's not about you following them, it's about them following you. So Ooh, now... I feel important. Yes, you should, because <laughs> I think we all know how a tweet can become so viral so quickly. You know, it can be retweeted in seconds, hundreds of people, thousands, millions, whatever you want. And campaign... <laughs> I know, politicians are really seeing this as an opportunity to get their campaign managers in on this, tracking people locally and seeing, are they saying good things? Are they influencers? Are they retweeting the message? Are they passing along the word to their friends? Or are they the potential threats? Are they blogging kind of their angers about Obama? Are they posting on Facebook pages like our own? Mm -hmm. um, see, you know, about their disapproval. There's disapproval. some passion on both sides yeah. of that debate on our Facebook wall exactly. right Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, what do you guys think? Would, are you interested in joining in the social media conversation in politics this year? Or are you kind of, eh? I, I do already. <laughs> I, I follow. You, I you try really to, do. I do. I try to follow. <laughs> I mean, I don't necessarily respond, but I use Twitter a lot mm -hmm. as, to, I, I use Twitter as a, a major news source. I mean, I watch, I watch TV when I can. I'm, I'm on TV, so that helps. Uh, but overall, I get a lot of breaking news updates from from Twitter, from social media mm -hmm. sites, when I'm on the go, it's just the convenience of having it on your phone. You know, you mm -hmm. don't always have to wait, and I, I feel bad promoting that when I'm trying no. to s save our industry at the same time. Yeah. But I, I, when I do that, I follow a lot of government mm -hmm. officials, and I get their press releases, even sometimes before they they come in my inbox, my, in exactly. my for my email. So, but w I have a question, you guys. Mm -hmm. um, what about like everyday people who aren't necessarily like the big influencers of their community or their town? Mm -hmm. Will they still be just as involved if it's you know Joe Schmo with mm -hmm. only 20 followers who tweets every day? Well, and here's how you can make a difference is I just posted on uh, NorthwestOhio.com slash blogs um, the article for this. It was a political blogger for What's Trending, the national What's Trending. Um, and he says the way to kind of uh, gear up is to have social debates with your own friends. So not only just be retweeting messages that you see from Obama or whoever, whatever candidate that you support, but to get people together, whether you agree or disagree, and support your own social debate. And chances are that campaign managers are going to be following you, and maybe even the politicians will be following you. Who knows? Maybe Obama could be kind of looking over your shoulder and seeing <laughs> what you're saying if you're having a lot of if you're having a lot of great discussion about him or about his policies or whatever you want or his jobs bill. You know, so yeah. Wait, um, you, before you go, you mentioned shoulder, and we, we have to wrap up here. But I, I noticed something right next to your shoulder. You have a sticker on. Yes. We have to acknowledge this. Well, why do you have a sticker on? Um, I just got my flu shot. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know uh, backstage I wasn't brave enough like Ryan to come and get it on air, but I got it for. And my little heart says W and W O because Aww. I don't want you guys to be sick. And what if I'm not here because I have the flu? You know who's going to be on Facebook? Now you can't use that as an excuse to take of off the year. work. No, you, know? you can say, that. "Oh, I'm sick. I have the flu." It no, is, you didn't. It you is way too shot. early to petition for a raise. <laughs> <laughs> I, <yes. laughs> this is wasted. We should save this and play it next year. Right. Exactly. E Elizabeth Reed, thank you so much. Thank you, Michael and China. <laughs> right. It's 6:40. We're going to take a quick break and wrap up your headlines as well as talk about Uncle Sam considering a ban of cell phones. We'll tell you for who right after this.